Now let's look at how to set and change the model compiler that we've selected for our project. During the new project creation, we select the project name, and then the next page is a model compiler selection page. And this shows all the model compilers that I am licensed to use. From here, I select the desired model compiler. It should be noted that the None option is available if you want to have no model compiler at all associated with your project. This is useful when creating library projects. Once the model compiler is selected, we simply select Finish. If at a later point I decide that I want to change the model compiler that I'm using for this project, I simply right click on the project and go to Bridgepoint Utilities, Set Model Compiler. And this brings up the familiar model compiler selection dialog. From here, I choose a different model compiler. Select Finish, and the model compiler that I will use for builds from now on has been changed. It should be noted that the model compiler is set on a per project basis. This means that different projects within the same workspace can use different model compilers. We're not restricted to using the same model compiler for all the projects in the workspace.